Hey friends, so this is not your typical video about Notion. All I want to cover is why I think Notion is so great, how it's changed my productivity and digital life completely, and therefore why I think it could be such a great tool for a lot of other people as well. I want to emphasize that Notion is a completely free tool, so it doesn't cost you a penny to download or use the app. Mainly in this video, we'll focus on three areas. What is Notion and what you can accomplish with Notion? Why I think it's such a great tool? And for this, I have three key reasons. And finally, if you were to get started with Notion, how could you get started? And what resources could be beneficial in your journey? This video isn't sponsored by Notion. I wish it was, but it isn't. And so for me to be sitting here and making essentially free marketing content for them, they must be doing something right. Everything that I say in this video is just my own opinion. I'll also make this very clear. What works for me might not work for you. So if everything that I say in this video doesn't appeal to you and you think it's not going to work for you, that's fair enough. And also, if you already have a tool that works for you and does everything that you need it to do, I don't think you should change the notion because there's no benefit in trying to fix something that isn't broke. Also, if you have any specific questions related to notion, maybe how to do something, how to set up a specific workflow or anything in general, drop a comment down below and I'll be answering all of those questions. For anyone new here, my name is Yath. I'm a final year medical student studying at UCL in London. And on this channel, I make videos about self-improvement, product Activity and lifestyle. Okay, so what is Notion and what makes it so great? Basically, the way I like to think about Notion, it is an all-in-one productivity tool and it is a mashup of a lot of different tools that already exist. I like to think of it as a combined version of three different things. A note-taking app such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs, a to-do app such as reminders on your phone, things, to-do list or Google Tasks, and finally a task management system such as Trello or even your calendar. There are some other tools that can achieve all of these for you such as Evernote and Roam Research, but what I think sets Notion apart for me is the flexibility that I get in being able to create any sort of workflow that I want, as well as having a really high standard of design and user experience. So why do I use Notion? Essentially there are three key reasons to this and it's to do with the design aspect of Notion, the amount of flexibility that I get with using Notion and finally the amount of clutter that it reduces by reducing the need to have a lot of different apps. So in terms of design, I'm a designer myself and in my spare time, I've designed entire projects for clients ranging from websites to apps to social media content. So when I see something with really, really good design, I'm naturally drawn towards it. Notion does exactly this. It's really simple, it's very elegantly designed, the typography is great and the user experience is really well thought out. In terms of flexibility, the power of having multiple tools mashed up into one is you can create workflows or pages that are very specific to your needs. For example, if you wanted to add a calendar into a Word document, that doesn't really work. The same way if you wanted to add notes into a to-do app, that also doesn't really work because those aren't the primary functions. However, with Notion, the primary function is for you to create your own workflow. So you define how you want to use the app. An example of this would be my YouTube content dashboard. In this dashboard, I have a number of quick access pages, which are pages embedded within the dashboard. And these are things that I often refer to, such as thumbnail research or video editing courses that I've taken. Below this, I have a Kanban board where I can keep a track of upcoming videos. Finally, for each video that I want to create, I've already created a template document. So this means that I don't don't forget on any important steps such as taking a thumbnail photo or checking the audio quality. I also have similar workflows for my weekly newsletter and my various side projects. So Notion allows me to keep a track of everything under one hood. And finally, the third reason why I love Notion is the amount of clutter that it has reduced for me. Whereas previously I would have used about three to four tools to achieve the same results. Now I can do everything in just one tool. This has its own benefits in the sense that I only need to learn one set of shortcuts and one set of intricacies. So whenever I use Notion, I know exactly what I'm doing and I can just get it done in a very quick and efficient manner. Whereas if I was using two or three tools to achieve the same results, I would have to learn various different keyboard shortcuts and various different ways of using the different apps. And this would only slow down my process. 
Okay, so I've told you what is Notion, why I use Notion, and some of how I use Notion. If you're still interested, how could you get started and what resources could be beneficial to you in your journey? Essentially, I'll keep these as points of references as I already think there's a ton of great content out there on how to use Notion and some very good resources as well. I'll link everything that I mention in the description down below. Firstly, you'd want to check out Notion's growing collection of templates. I think these templates are great. There's a ton of them and they serve a lot of different purposes. For example, you'd find templates for school, college, personal life stuff, task management, and even more productivity orientated stuff. The way I'd use them is to first duplicate them into your own Notion workspace and then change them up so it's very specific to your needs and becomes more personalized. Secondly, I'll check out Notion's very own YouTube channel. They have a ton of amazing videos and a lot of how-to style videos as well. I like to watch these videos whenever they launch a new feature because I think they summarize them and tell you how to use them in a very good way. There are also a few other channels that I recommend, for example, Kai He's channel where he takes a deep dive into Notion and explains how to apply the GDT mentality from David Allen into Notion. I'd also recommend Ali Abdal's channel, Thomas Frank's channel, and finally the Think Productive channel, which also has a ton of great content on how to use Notion. Finally, I'd also recommend some articles. For example, Tiago Forte has a really good example on the principles of note-taking. So for example, the Paro method. Whilst this isn't a Notion specific video or a Notion specific article, this tells you and gives you a really good basic understanding of how and how to effectively take notes so you can apply that to your workflows that you create within Notion. I've also written my very own article on my weekly newsletter where I explain how I used Notion to build a second brain. So if that's interesting to you, do check it out. And if you enjoy what you read, don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. But most importantly, just like with learning anything else, you can only really learn if you get stuck in and try it for yourself. So download Notion if you think it's going to be useful to you, give it a go and see what workflows you can create for yourself. I'd say there is a slight learning curve, but nothing major. Especially when I started with Notion in early 2019, there weren't too many resources out there. However, as Notion has grown with popularity and users, there are now some incredible resources out there. So I can only assume that getting started with Notion is a lot easier. So that's all. If you really enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment down below. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more regular content. It really helps me hack away at the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.